In this video, let's find one more volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by the curves about the line x equals 4. That means because of this phrase x equals 4, we're going to experience a shift. So here we're going to have example with a nice shift. Let's see. x equals 4. Let me first indicate where the shift is happening. It's happening over here. So this line is parallel to y-axis, as you can see. That is why if we plan to use disk or washer method, we expect to have dy case. They tell us here use the method of cylindrical shells, but in general it's your choice. You should not just follow people's uh, advices. You should make your own mind on this. Step one, let's uh, sketch the graph first, 2D. Well, y equals x squared, this one, that's problem. That one is pretty easy to draw. Looks like this. Y equals x squared. Then y equals 0. That's x-axis. So that's the floor. Y equals 0. X equals 1 and x equals 2 uh, are two walls which are going to cut the shape we need. So x equals 1. And let me erase this one. X equals 1 and x equals 2. 1 and 2. Two vertical walls, which gave us this area. This is enclosed area, which will be rotated around the red wall, which we know is x equals 4, vertical line. So, before I'm going to draw the 3D picture, I will first want to decide, I first want to decide on the case, which uh, method I will use here. So like I said, since x equals 4, this is the axis of rotation, is parallel to y-axis, for the disk, for the disk and washer method, we expect to have dy case. For the dy case, we're going to build integral from c to d and then functions of y. That means I will have to solve this function for x. I will have to have x equals blah blah blah. Do I want to deal with square roots? Eh, not really. That's why it's actually going to be more convenient to use the x case. But what kind of method helps us to use the x case when rotation is happening around something which is parallel to y-axis? Shell method. So that's how I know it's a good choice. Shell method. Shell method will allow us to avoid finding x as a plus minus a squared of y and then dealing with that. But actually it will work and you can try and get the same answer. For the shell method, I recommend um, not to draw a 3D picture because the limits of integrations are coming from the 2D picture. And I saw many students making mistakes assuming that you need to find a 3D picture limits of integration like we usually do for the disk or washer method. The volume will be, I like to kick out 2 pi outside of the integral. Then, since we're doing dx case, because for the shell method, you always do uh, the opposite case from the axis of rotation. Since we're rotating something which is parallel to y-axis, we're going to have dx case for shell method. dx case for the shell method. Since I know it's going to be dx case, then the limits of integrations are located on the x-axis. And they are given 1 and 2. That's one of the, also one of the um, nodes to point out why we chose shell method here. It just all, everything is given here. Or else for the dy case, we would have to find this point of intersection, do it from 0 to this point of intersection. Too much work. Now we know the formula. 2 pi r of x h of x dx i actually don't need so much space for the x here it is right we know this formula usually r of x is just x what is usually a radius for this uh, picture uh, for the shell method usually it's x but in this case we have a shift because we're rotating about x equals 4 uh, x is happening when we're rotating about y-axis.
but this time the axis of rotation was shifted by four units so what is my radius looks like find the center of rotation shoot the radius to the left one more to the left one more to the left so it's supposed to be x but shifted by four units to the right what is a mathematical way to represent this shift it is a horizontal shift to the right so it's four minus x basically four minus x takes this axis of rotation back to zero right just check plug four four minus four is zero now age of so let me start writing down 2 pi from one from 1 to 2 4 minus x that's my radius height is the yellow area or the area between two graphs one graph is this light blue which is a parabola y equals x squared and the other one is this graph below which is y equals zero so height will be x squared minus zero that's the height of the 3d object that's when i'm actually shooting it up like so and that's how the scan happens for the 3d picture dx now i just need to finish integration let me first distribute it's going to be four i don't need parentheses four x squared minus x cube dx okay you can put parentheses it's going to be 2 pi integrate 4 x cube over 3 minus x to the 4 over 4 a bar from 1 to 2 and the answer will be 2 pi plug the top that's going to be 4 2 cube minus 3 minus 2 to the 4 over 4 put parentheses that will help you to avoid mistakes open one more parenthesis plug the bottom 4 1 third minus 1 quarter collect common denominators simplify and you will get 67 over 6 pi check your answer remember this is volume so it should be positive and it has units cubed if you really want to see how the 3d picture looks like then now it's safe i know you guys are not going to do a mistake anymore because we literally finished integrating i can show you how the 3d picture looks like to draw the 3d picture for this problem i will copy carefully this shape using x equals 4 as a mirror like so here is my shape a shaded area in 2d and then i will draw several circles to give my brain some ideas of how this object looks in 3d so i'm rotating like so so as you can see we could actually use washer method here my washer method because it's hollow inside but shell method allowed us to avoid mm, extra work so if you want to see how it looks like this it's kind of like a tube i guess like so this is the hollow part in in the middle and that's a very good example uh, so if you know how to build it it's actually pretty fast to finish the most important like i mentioned common mistake students do is they do integration from one to this point in 3d and that's why i do not recommend to uh, draw a 3d picture for the shell method shell method uses 2d shape to create the integral so it's not necessary to build the uh, 3d shape but if you want to see how it looks like then it's convenient to know that well hopefully you're getting better with shell method and i'll see you next time